Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim and today I'm bringing you the April YA Fairylies unboxing. If I sound a bit hoarse, I'm sorry, I have been ill over the weekend, so bear with me. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack her open and see what we have in this month's. And voila! Oops! Voila! Okay, so what fell out on top there was this month's spoiler card with some very beautiful artwork. And the spoilers on the back there if you want to pause it and find out what everything's about. I'll put that in front of me in case I need it, which you know I will. Right, let's remove all the little packing. And on the top we have this. Okay, this is Addy Canvas bag, uh, Basket. Ah, okay, I've seen people on booktube with these with books in them. Yes, I know. Very useful little basket there with a quote on it that says, a person, if not the marks, they leave behind the Schwab, which is obviously Addy LaRue which I still have not got around to reading, but it's on my TBR. Very good. Underneath that, we have this little envelope, which says Strange the, Deem Strange the Dreamer Moth Pin, designed by Jez Hall. And we have, oh, that's beautiful. It's upside down, but it's beautiful. That's stunning. Look at those colours. That's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, next we have Heart Fairy Lights. Let's see if I can get into this. There we go. Oh, okay. I could do with some fairy lights on my bookshelf. Not bad. Okay, it's not a bad box so far. And oh, we have another trinket tray. Uh, that looks like the Night Circus to me. Oh, it is the Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And it says, and there are really never end, and there are really never endings happy or otherwise. Not bad. Again, don't know what I'll do with it, but not bad. Ah, yes, they did say there was going to be two books in this box. So the first book we have is this one. It's the paperback. An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. Oh, I like that colour. That's a stunning coloured sprayed edge. That's nice. Here we have this we do it is signed by the author and let's see if we can find out what this is about uh so hunter Yi has perfect aim with a bow and arrow but all else in his life veers off course hunted by his family's past mistakes the only things keeping him from running away are his younger brother a supernatural wind and the bewitching girl of his new school Luna Chang dreads the future. Graduation looms ahead of her parents' expectations. Start again. Graduation looms ahead and her parents' expectations are stifling. Then her life is turned upside down by the strange new boy in her class. The unearthly fireflies that follow her around and an enormous crack that begins to spread across the town of Fairbridge. As Hunter and Luna navigate the feud between their families and uncover hidden secrets, everything around them begins to fall apart. All they can depend on is their love, but time is running out and fate will have its way. Mm. Spell and binding interpretation of Romeo and Juliet. Filled with romance, magic and Chinese mythology. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Okay, and that cover, those that 
cover. Oh. Okay, let's, let's put the baggie to one side for a minute because in the bottom of the box we have the tarot cards. Oh, stunning. We have the High Priestess and the Emperor. Liking the artwork in this box, that's for sure. Right, let's have a little go in here, see if we can find the fairy scoop for this month. Pause it if you need to. There's the author interview. There we go. A little bit about the author. And on the back we have next month's theme, which is Cloak and Dagger. Uh, you can expect items inspired by from Blood and Ash, Red Rising, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I've just read and is really good, and our featured book of the month. We are thrilled to reveal this box will include a ceramic mug and the next foiled bookmark in the mythology collection. Mm. Okay. Next month is going to be a good box, I can feel. Uh, we have the bookmark that goes with the spoiler card. Very good. And we should have the artwork. Oh, stunning. Wow. And letter from the author. Wow. The artwork in this box is beautiful. Ooh. And the book this month is, wow, wow, it's uh, Blood Scion by Deborah Fillet. If I pronounce anything wrong, I'm terribly sorry. Got my throat. Oh, okay, so we have just a standard block colour for the sprayed edge this time. Open her up and we have... Oof. Signature right at the front there with the end papers and the back is the same. Very nice. Do we have a map by Honda? No. Nope, no map. Okay, let's have a look at the hard colour, shall we? Oh. Okay, so the outside cover actually is on the hardcover as well. But I'm not sorry because that is stunning. It's back. We have under the dust jacket artwork. Oh. I'm liking this box, you know. Okay, if my voice can hold out for long enough, I will tell you what this one's about. Just a really quick, there's the author. And here we go. Uh, I'm a descendant of Shango, the god of heat and fire. I'm a living inferno. I'm a dead girl walking. I'm already interested. A uh, 15 year old Sloane can incinerate an enemy at will. She is a scion, a descendant of the ancient Orisha gods, but under the brutal rule of the Lucas, her identity means her death. Her mother knew as much. She disappeared trying to hide Sloane's truth. Sloane, too, has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is conscripted into the Lucas army. Once taken, Sloane must not only conceal her power, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucas training. But if she can infiltrate the Lucas, she can destroy her enemies. The power, sorry, the people who think of her as less of, than a human. The overlord's responsibility for her mother's disappearance. Uh, Sloane rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so risks something greater losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. Wow. Can't wait to get into that one. Oh, 
this is a very, very good box. Thank you, Fairy Loot. Uh, I'm going to go before my voice actually goes completely. Um, and I will see you next time. Doodles.